Hey guys, <sighs> art cases, yeah. So if you've watched one of my recent vlogs, which I will link down in the description below, um, you'll know that I found a second one of these art cases. So the original one is this small one, and um, I found this in a vintage shop in California, paid way too much for it, but fell in love with it. It has been the art case that's traveled around the country with me. Um, and I, it's fabulous. It's small enough, it fits under the airplane seat in front of you and I can fit most of the time all the art supplies I need in here. And when I um, get to the destination, if I do a little bit of shopping, unless I go overboard, which I generally don't do because I don't need much, um, it'll fit in here and I can get it home and it's safe and secure, I love that. I made a belly band for it to keep it closed and keep it more secure because it is a vintage leather suitcase, little small train case size suitcase. I made a belly band for it um, years ago when I first started using it for art and also a, a luggage tag. Um, and I still use it. It's been, yeah, it's been a great case. I've had to have the handle repaired. I had it um, conditioned, but the leather is, you know, scuffed up and marked. It's marked. It's showing its age. It's showing its it's traveling. You know, it's just, and that's okay. That's okay with me. Um, I don't mind that at all. Um, I should probably give it another coat of conditioner. But anyways, um, I do love it. Um, and there is a leather um, luggage um, repair guy here in the local Portland area that has worked on it for me. He's a great guy. Um, a little expensive, but he did a great job. Anyway, since I bought this one, I've been looking for a second. I've been saying for a long time, it'd be great to have a spare. Sometimes on some trips, it would be fun to have it be just a little bit bigger. I've never found one. Um, <clears throat> we go to a lot of the vintage sort of antique mall type places, and every time we do, I go look. Well, if you watched a recent vlog, again, which I will link below, I found one. Um, this one is less used than the original um, was when I bought it. Um, but I'll insert a picture about here. It was definitely, the leather was definitely dry, not conditioned, very pale. And so I brought it home and we used some of my husband's leather car care stuff, which we had um, to clean it and give it a good conditioning and two coats of some conditioner, and I probably could do a third and fourth, um, and I might do the other case too at some point. They both probably need more, um, but it is perfect. I made it its own belly band and luggage tag, and um, it's perfect. I have, normally when we travel, I have my daily little drawing bag that won't fit in the small case because I've got other things in there or that I want to have on the airplane in case I wanna work on it. And because it won't fit in there, I put it in a backpack and I have that under the seat too. Um, but lately the last few trips when the husband and I are traveling together, you know, oh honey, can you put this in your backpack? Oh honey, can you put that in your backpack? And so then my backpack gets really full and really heavy um, if I bring the bigger case, he can put whatever he wants in the backpack because I probably can fit my electronics in here, my daily drawing in here, my art supply, like everything can go in here. Um, and bonus, if the little one ever does just finally go kaput, I've got a backup. So I love that. So these little suitcases. So what I would um, recommend to you all is look at your local vintage shops, resale shops, um, thrift shops for little small suitcases. You want a small one. Um, the original one is, let's get you some measurements, which is a great, again, it's a great airplane size. It's about, let's say 12. It's about 14 by 14 by nine by five. The bigger one is 
16. Let's see. The bigger one is 16 by 10 and a half by six. So those are, I think, really good sizes um, for traveling and taking with you. They both not only fit in the overhead bin, but they would fit under the airplane seat in front of you. Um, and they both are good also car ride sizes. Um, so criteria for me that the outside's in decent condition, that the hardware, including the handles, in decent condition. Again, I had to replace the handle on this one, but that wasn't because when I bought it, it was in bad condition. It was because I wore it out. Um, so that the handle's in decent condition, the hardware's in decent condition, and that the inside is decently clean or cleanable, that it's not moldy or gross or stained with God knows what. So always open the cases, try the hardware. This one came with keys, and I know they're by the same manufacturer because the, the keys for this one fit this which I never had keys for this one. And if anybody happens to know who made these little leather suitcases way back when, and you have information on them, I'd love to hear. So I just thought I'd come on and give you some few tips. I'm gonna insert some pictures here and some vlog footage um, of me being so, so excited that I found a case. I literally have been saying it for years since I bought the original. Every time we go in, it's become a joke because I, I figured I was never gonna find another one. I was wrong. And if I ever find a third um, or a fourth, or I'll be putting them up for sale if I find more than two. Um, don't hold your breath, but yeah, so that's a thing. I'd love to find somebody who can make these for me. That's also a thing. If you have any tips or ideas, let me know. All right, that's it for today. Don't be afraid to travel with your art supplies. Have some fun. Enjoy life. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you will. Um, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. And go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.